All right, got my parts in for my uh, lower unit. Ordered uh, four of these bearings that got lost, so it gives me four shots. Went ahead and ordered two springs, so I only was short one bearing, and uh, and that was it. But uh, I thought, you see, I had the one bearing, one spring here. But I thought if I just order a set and I lose another one, then I'll be doing it again. So I give myself. I got. Five, I've got five tries here. So all right, let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the forward bearing in. We're going to dip it in oil and coat it up good. Okay. <clears throat> place this bearing right down in there okay next we're going to put the uh, this pinion in There that is. Now I'm going to hook. That up. And let go of it and put the reverse gear in. We're going to install the shift cradle onto the clutch dog, and the grooved end has got to be facing the forward gear that's already in there. So that would be like, that'd be like this. And then that's going to sit in there, I guess. Then we're going to install this pin back inside here. It holds this linkage. All right. Drop a bearing in, the spring, and then this here. And this, and there's a special tool that puts this in there, and this is how I lost the bearing. But I've redone my tool since then. And voila. I better not say voila too quick. And what I'm going to do. Just slide this shaft in there and put a little oil on the end. And hopefully this is going to work. Okay, I got that much in there. I mean, it, it wasn't as smooth and as easy as I hoped, but uh, you can see that uh, the reverse gear is in there. There's that much of the shifting's in there, so we're almost home free now.
I did not want that to do that. All right, there's that gear in. Okay, we got it this far. Now we're gonna put this uh, retainer in. And also, I'd made this uh, a lining pin to put right in here. So, uh, I just took a bolt that's the proper thread. And so when we slide this in, that it's lined up so I can get the uh, those two bolts back in here. So that's just kind of set back in there like this. You drop that tab down in the... the, the where that shifter leakage is. Yeah, I made it sound easier than it was. stick out the top. I didn't think about that. It'd have to come way out here where I can get a hold of it. Back it off, but I think I can get it. Let's put some... Uh We just put this on there so that don't freeze on there for next time. But I had some pitting on there I took and sanded it a little bit. Just with some 600 grit. I tried to uh, put this together where you could see what I was actually doing and for what I've got some of the camera angles were just terrible to try to get in there to where you could see. All right well we've got all the seals in. I put the foot back on. I know you guys have seen a lot of videos on putting the foot back on. I want to say that uh, Putting the seals in was challenging without all the proper tools. Uh, if I was going to replace the bearings and whatnot, I don't believe I would attempt that without the uh, all the specialty tools to do that with. But uh, we muggled over it and got in there and got the seals done. I'm getting ready to put new anodes on. I know I don't know if some of you caught that. I did paint that surface, and I know that uh, you're not supposed to. So. You know, we're going to go ahead and put this on, then we'll take the meter and make sure that uh, we've got proper connection. But first of all, I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. clean surface to put these anodes on. I bought the uh, replacement anodes. I don't know if you can see those or not for the, this motor. You're ready. There we go. Put these water intake grills on there. And uh, I guess they're called screens. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got, uh, they just screw into the back of each other. So when you slip this one back here, like that, this one, one screw goes one way, one goes the other. They're only screwing into each other.
Okay, inside down on. Okay. And this. Alright, put this nut on. Just an FYI, I do have this motor propped up. It's not just hanging on the uh, um, supports that when you lift it out of the water, I got it propped besides that. And the spark plug wires off to where it can't start. Okay, we're gonna put the oil in this in this lower unit. Well, for good measure. There we go. It is done. We are ready to get it in the water. Sometimes we forget that's the reason we're doing all this.